Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I'm here in Beacon. Uh, it's early in the morning. It's at just uh, 7 a.m. right now. Uh, and I just had to go do something, take out some garbage and uh, get some bagels. We were going to order them, so I figured I'd just stop down here myself. It's a really pretty day. Uh, it's sunny, blue skies, which is nice after the last few days we had the, you know, whatever was left of the hurricane uh, up here in Beacon. So it was rainy, it was humid, today feels a little bit drier. Um, yesterday, if you saw when I went for my run, I mentioned it did feel pretty dry out, so it, it seemed like it was better than the previous few weeks, which were really humid. Um, so yeah, so it's a nice day. Uh, we'll get out for a run later, but for now I'm just going to go get some bagels. Um, and uh, yeah, and then it's time to get to work. So uh, I'll just enjoy this time out on Main Street before I have to get to uh, work work. Uh, and then we'll do running and some more of the video stuff later. I'm still working on things for my work, my full-time job, um, but it's almost wrapped up for the day. Not going to be too much exciting to talk about as far as my actual training run today. After the run on Sunday, that was a 16 mile long run, um, which was relatively slow, but again, it's, it's long distance. It's a lot of beating down on the legs. So between that and then Tuesday, yesterday being my uh, it was a tempo run that was out on the road and kind of picking up the pace more than usual. Um, today really is just a boring recovery run. I think it's three miles, maybe four miles. I have to just check my, my running calendar, but ultimately that's all it's going to be today. So not too much exciting, not too much, uh, you know, really to talk about there. Um, other than that, it is important to, to have a lot of easy runs built into your, your marathon training program. Um, you know, there's all kinds of magic numbers out there. 70% of your running should be easy. Um, whatever it is that you follow uh, is definitely true that most of your running is going to be done at a pretty easy effort. Um, so that's what today is for me is, is truly recovery. Um, truly probably easier than even just a normal daily run. Uh, just to let the right legs recover while still getting out there and getting miles in and moving. Um, so yeah, I don't have too much else to talk about today besides that run, which we'll get out and do in a little while. Um, something cool that came in, um, I don't know if anybody else has seen uh, the movie that came out about uh, Kipchoge. Uh, it's called The Last Milestone, and it's about his, uh, his attempts to break two hours in the marathon distance. Uh, a lot of following his journey up into uh, his uh, kind of exhibition race in Vienna in Austria. Um, so this is kind of like a poster that was inspired, um, for, a, like a watch party that was going on, uh, for a running shop, Believe in the Run is their, their YouTube channel and, uh, their Instagram page. And, you know, they believe they're a running shop in Baltimore, Maryland. So I got this print, uh, which is pretty cool from them. Uh, and it was just again around, uh, the release of that movie. So I just felt like I, you know, if I'm talking here to you guys a little bit, I may as well have some kind of running related stuff go up behind me uh, since I'm just in my office and, you know, other than my running shoe stuff and, and what else, uh, you know, it's really just a, an office and a guest room here for, uh, for anyone who comes over. So just wanted to put some stuff up. I just thought it was cool to have that poster anyway. Um, you know, being someone who, who likes to run marathons, obviously Kipchoge is, is an amazing runner, uh, just won gold in the Tokyo Olympics. So, uh, you know, inspired by that and the, you know, the new movie that came out, uh, you know, we have a new running poster up. So like I said, I'll finish up work here uh, and then we'll go out for a run and we'll see where I even want to go do that. It's again, three or four miles really easy. So not sure where I'm going to do it, but uh, either way, it's going to be pretty boring. And um, for the most part, that's all I have for today. So I'll uh, get out on the road in just a few.
<laughs> had to stop and wring out my shirt three miles in. Absolutely so humid and so hot. One mile ago. It doesn't feel like recovery. The waterfall is moving along today. It's a lot of water. So yeah, it's a sticky 90 degrees. So uh, before we even dive into it any deeper, Saucony Endorphin Pro is only 130, so it's $70 off uh, for a pretty serious uh, marathon racing shoe. Um, you know, maybe not the favorite by most people, but uh, still for the same price as a uh, like a daily trainer, you can get a carbon fiber plated uh, racing shoe for either tempo workouts, speed workouts, or for race day at a pretty good discount. So just thought I'd put that out there. Alright, so the river down here is really high up from all the rain from the hurricane, so that's why the waterfall was flowing, I think, so strongly, because uh, all this water kind of clears out down to the, the Hudson River through that waterfall. So overall, it's hot and sticky. Uh, I just took it nice and easy, like I said. Uh, the goal was to go recovery, so it was in fact four miles, not three. Um, so here you go, the pace is four miles right here. Uh, pretty easy heart rate. Um, and yeah, just getting it done, just getting in some miles, keeping it really nice and easy, simple today. Um, that way you can run your, your harder miles hard. So yeah, gotta go, probably go home to cool off because it's not gonna happen out here. Um, it's just too hot and humid. So uh, I think that's a wrap for today. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.